Hello, citizens of Bradley Mighty Garen Empire. Welcome to the Frontiers of Legacy of Kings 2. And I'm kind of actually not sure whether I should continue this series or not because it's getting quite tedious and uh, not exactly as fun as it could as it could be. But yeah, let's just continue rolling. Formal declaration of war by the Hadamids. They want Khorasan. And he's got 46,000 men. I have like 30 something thousand men, I think. That's what I think I have at least. But anyway, we knew this would happen. The bloodthirsty caliph is always out there. But. No, wait. With this, with these guys can wait. Um, yeah, that should be all of them. Send them all here, I guess? Yeah, let's send them all here. Sure, our capital should probably... Yeah, our capital is able to handle 30,000 men, something. We'll have Mountain's advantage, and he is probably not going to come uh, with uh, like all of his 47,000 men at once, as he usually does. Which means we have an opportunity to gather our troops. Thank God it didn't start a war with the Sindh with the sins would be a sin to start a war with the sin people <laughs> let's go to the these two holdings and siege them out lost the siege of Hortitsa, whatever we're about to assemble some men to finish the job so it doesn't matter like at all da -da, da -da -da. Apparently we got another follower recently, I don't actually recall who would follow. So yeah, sorry. Whew, not feeling exactly the you know, like the best condition ever, but I will do my best to entertain. Ah, we can convert it loot. Awesome. That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent, I must say. Alright. Oh, we already have 4,000 troops arriving here, so... Might actually might not actually get a chance to siege any holdings at all, so might as well start moving towards Kiva. Is there any holding that he can handle? Here's a mountain. Here's a mountain with 20k limit. Yeah, okay, we've got two mountain those holdings with 20,000 limit that are kind of close to one another, one another. So what I think we should do is... Move, uh, like, all of these guys over here, and then we'll see what we can do. Okay, how's this thing going? Um, not too bad. Arpad's host, host is apparently attacking Hungary. Well, goodbye, Hungary. What's going on here? Aha! Bulgarian Holy War for Thrace! So Bulgaria wants a piece of that Byzantine Empire. That's pretty nice. Da -da. We lost another siege, but it's whatever. I don't care about it at all. At all. Come on, army. Now it's gonna take another freaking month to cross that bloody river. Really? Ah, dear. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. Na na na. Na na na. Da da da. You're right indeed. You're right as usual. Really? We don't have any kind of good troops. Any kind of good commanders? Well, we, we can send these guys to train, I guess. Yeah, let's send these three people to kind of like just... Just kind of swoop in here. Swoop, whoop, swoop, swoop. Swoop, 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 swoop. 
Swoop, 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 swoop. Told you, he's gonna split around his armies. Just as I predicted. Oh yeah, we don't have 20,000 uh, stacks. We have a little bit less. What are you doing, even? De jour war over Debul. Okay. Fine, then. Oh, we got a, another Shah here. Shah of Baluchistan. Who's got no truce with us, but we'll declare war on him later. Yep. You were correct, dear. I am streaming. Did I repeat myself? I think I did. Damn it. How's this battle going, by the way? How's this battle going? Nice. Good job, guys. Did you get any traits? Oh, this guy got flat terrain expert. That's pretty decent. Okay. Go keep on training. It should be 100%. I don't know what's going on. Anyway. Alright. So we've got like 20,000 men here. And another 12,000. Many good memories of fine battles I have fought there. In other games. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Red Queen Karen died of depression. Oh well. That's too bad. I'm actually kind of sad now. Anyway. Back to the game. On with the game. I like this. He's suffering lots of attrition. I don't like that he's got a lot of armies around me. But... Well, gives me more time to assemble my own armies, I guess. And he will attack me. Oh yes, he will. Oh god, they actually have like almost perfect 20,000 stack there. That's some skill. Okay, we don't have very good commanders. Oh really, you survived? You little shit. Well, I'll, I'll deal with you later. Okay. Yamshid and Bozorg. Oh yeah, they didn't fight any battles yet. Okay. Bulgaria. Yeah, but well, you know, but the Byzantines are kind of uh, heretics now. The Byzantines are Policians. They're not Orthodox. So they kind of deserved it. Are you at war? Peasant revolt for Molten. Okay. Sure. What's this war? Du la fille du jour war. Oh, he's attacking this small child. Psst, whatever. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, you better suffer that attrition. I like. I just love having this Persia buffer here. He's gonna suffer loads of attrition while sitting around here. Where's he going, though? He's going to Tabaristan, which is back there. Okay, good. Okay, good. Or, you know, maybe... just my satraps will figure out the problem. I do like it. I do like it. If his army gets wiped out, it's just instant 100% for me, so I'm happy. Shahzadeh, Lux a guardian. Let's give her a proper education. We'll give her... A learning education, why not? Why not? We could use some. So now, yeah, he's just kind of dancing around here. I don't give a damn, he can attack me all he wants. Awesome, Lower Volga converted. Lower Volga? Oh, you run. Oh, you better run. So now, he's all moving to Kohistan. He's probably willing to attack this army. So I say we actually move these guys over here. Just gonna make sure that we have commanders here as well. Assad, uh, he can do. He would do. He will do nicely. Actually, I would rather give command to this guy because he's got a martial trait or like a command combat trait. This guy already has two combo traits, which are awesome, so I'm not gonna leave them out. And I guess Assad can lead this. Okay. 
And, you know, this army's kinda... Just... Just... Just, just, I don't know... Gekkoenemon... Morteza... We just kinda need to have any leaders there. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're not gonna get there in time. Oh well. Can we chase them? He's running to Kerjanets, let's try chasing. Over a major, major river, because why not? Okay, you gotta keep an eye on the situation here. So he's gonna cross on 7th of, 7th of May. Dengri rebels rising in Hungary. Hey there, panda. Yep, told you, he's gonna run into Sus, or Tus, whatever this province is called. So on 9th, 9th of June, he's going to arrive, which means we are moving out on 8th of June. Or maybe even 7th. Oh god, this is like his entire army right here. And it's suffering attrition. Awesome. That is perfect. Can I send it on 7th? Please tell me yes. Oh yes, okay, good. Alright, it's gonna take like a long ass time to arrive here, like an entire month. So let's hope we can stand off. Hold the, hold the line, men. Hold the line. Hold the line. Battle might probably actually get resolved before we even get there. But, uh, uh, we won! Oh my goodness, oh my damn, this is glorious. We're going ham. And look, these guys just got all the combat traits. One of them died, which is a shame. So I'll have to put this guy from the army on top. Where are you, little rebel? There he is. Let's put this guy on Chivash. Automatically put a commander here. Is he good enough? Eh, he's kind of eh. Just kind of eh. Oh, there's an army going into Nishapur. Hmm. I'm not gonna risk. I'm not gonna risk attacking with this low morale army, so I'm just gonna attack into this desert. Hopefully we arrive before them. Yes. Good, we we will. That's gonna be like 29% war score. Awesome. I love this war. This is a good war. Then we just crush him underfoot. Yep, this is mountains though. And he's running back to Gurgaon, so... I say we fall back to Nishapur and Tus. I'm just gonna sit, sit around there. Or, even better, we attack this routed army here. 10th of October, 3rd of October. And yeah, we can arrive on 27th of September, perfect. Merp. <laughs> I just love how Panda just said merp and nothing else. <laughs> I find it cute. Alright, can we chase him? There, he's, he's gonna run to Gorodets. And he's gonna bloody outrun us. How the fuck is this a thing? Okay, we're gonna catch him here though. On time? No? Okay, well that's just bullshit. That's just plain outright bullshit. Okay. How's this t uh, thing? Yeah, we routed. We killed it. It's gonna arrive on 26th of October. Let's send a smaller army here. He, he has 3,000 left. Perfect. Perfect. Four, five. Okay, no. He's not going to. He's going to reinforce this army over there. Okay. Yeah, now he kind of wants to fight. Wonderful. Wonderful. Glory. Come on, just beat them. They're just rebels. There we go. Chase them upwards. This army's getting kicked around a lot. Okay. Alright, awesome. And we fall in love with Yavane, who, who's nothing special whatsoever, but apparently we love her. Alright, you're running. Can we catch you? No, we cannot catch you, but we still need to move into a favorable position. 
into the defense of the mountains of Nishapur. Who the hell are you? Who the fuck are you? And why do you have claims on my titles? Well, I'm sorry, you'll have to die. You're at court in Kandail, which is... What? Oh, there we go, Kandail, okay. Spymaster, would you kindly? Would you kindly kill this man? Would you kindly kill this man? I said. Good. Joyous news. So he is not prone to accidents, as it turns out. I did not expect anything less. These guys are turning out to be badasses, I can feel it. Flat terrain cavalry leader. Cavalry leader is not as good as it could be, but defender is pretty nice. The fluffy panda. Alright, so we beat them again, chase them. Doing pretty decent here. If he decides to reinforce though and turn this army around here, then he's gonna get screwed by this one. Come on, dude. Come on, AI. Be stupid. Was he stupid? I thought he was safe to escape there. Apparently, no. He is retarded. We'll chase. For a little bit. What are you doing here, buddy? You kind of lost. You kind of lost Hatimid Empire. Alright. We lose a battle somewhere or a siege? What was it? Not sure. What's going on? Does uh, the Hatimid have an another army somewhere that I can see? Oh no, it's just this revolt. Okay. <laughs> now it says you're here. It didn't before? I don't know. I don't don't know. I don't know. No, there is no fog of war, so I can easily just kind of scroll here and see that Britain is in an utter state of disaster. <laughs> like usual. But, in fact, we can see that Catholicism has pretty much prevailed and beaten out, beaten out the Norse, which sometimes kind of stays. Uh, again, Skane apparently is a part of the East Rank here for, like, eternity. Norse Catholic. And there's the Kingdom of East Rank here, Lothringia OP. West Francia, Lothringia again, OP. That's, that was Holy Ward, by the way. What happened was the Muslims took this from Aquitaine or France, whatever it was. Then Lothringia was like, Yup, I'm really strong now, might as well eat it. Do they sell Frontier Snuggle Toys? No, but if I get popular enough, um, anything could be possible. Even miracles. Are you ready for America? Da -na 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 -na. Are you ready for America? Oh damn, I forgot to chase. Oh, we're still catching him. Okay, good. Are you ready for America? Yeah. Hey. 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 I like it. this army is just like, what? What? What do we do now? We're just 83 men. We cannot siege anything. Please, we want food. And he's like, no. Our revolt is just. We must continue pushing against the oppressors. But they're like, um, sir, but we wanna eat. He's like, no. No. No food for you. Alright, well, we're gonna get lots of money from this invasion. That's pretty darn awesome. He will already accept a white piece, but white piece is for pussies. Who the hell cares about the white piece? I just want to have my hands free for like ten, nine years in this region and just conquer the crap out of Persian Empire. Maybe form it myself and finally be done with this 
uh, playthrough. Because it's getting kind of tedious. And I don't like when it's getting tedious. <laughs> Apparently I'm just like Panda. Which is very flattering to hear. Of course, because the pandas are one and only. Should I split the retinue? I should, should probably. Let's get all the retinue out of here. Let's get an army of a retinue and an army of non-retinue. So this is a retinue, we can send it to siege stuff. And this is a non-retinue, we can see it, send it to combine with these guys. Just kind of balance it out a bit. <clears throat> the Hatmid's lands can be assaulted quickly, and apparently, is he going to go for another strike? He's got 16,000. <laughs> Do I ever watch my streams? <laughs> I fapped my stream. Oh, oh, what? Um. No comment on that. Anyway. Da, da. Riding grounds has been built in Al Hur. Let's go build some more. Ride some horses. Horse and horses. Oh, we can build loads here. Let's build a castle town. Definites. Totes. Stables. Yet yeah, no, but if the stables were turned, I would show you no mercy. Okay. Finished with this. 26 people. Yeah, I'm really scared, Hadimid. Tell me something new. Anyway. I think it's time for to put a YouTube cut in between episodes here, so... If you're on YouTube, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and possibly subscribe to my channel for like this. And, as usual, have a nice day. See you next time.